Rust includes a lot of really amazing methods uh, for a lot of the data structures and even just some of the uh, the numbers and other you know things that we use all the time. Uh, and some of them are not available in other languages. Um, now, something that is available in many other languages, filter and map, but something that's not available, filter map. So um, let's go through and like take a look at filter and map separately, but then I wanna show you how to use them together because this is the type of thing that if you don't know exist in Rust is just like, you're, you're never gonna look to find it because we're not used to having it there. But once we have it in our tool set, it's gonna be one of those things where we just don't want to live without it anymore. Um, let's, uh, let's give an example of this. Let's first uh, create a, a vector of, uh, of just like simple numbers, maybe like zero through 100. So we're gonna do a mute numbers equals, uh, let's create a um, just an empty vector here. Uh, we can create a, uh, a for loop over a bunch of numbers for number in 0 dot dot 100. And we're just going to push this number into numbers. Okay, that gives us a vector of i32s. Let's say I want to map through this and then uh, set each one to be like a wrapped number. So let's, let's imagine that we want to create some kind of like data structure to hold these. So call this a wrapped number and you're gonna have like the actual value, uh, which is gonna be this i32. And then we're also gonna have like an is even, let's say, which is gonna be a Boolean. Okay. Um, then what we're gonna wanna do is now map over the numbers and turn this into, uh, turn each number into one of these. So if you're not familiar with how map works, uh, let's go through it really quickly. So let wrapped numbers, it's gonna be equal to, we're gonna take numbers. Now I have to get an iterator off of this because we can't just call map directly on vectors. We have to get an iterator for vectors first. Now we have several different choices here. Uh, all we really need at this point is just a normal iterator. I don't need to like, uh, take ownership where um, I don't need to take um, uh, to like get immutable iterators because I'm not mutating these things. Uh, we're creating a new vector from it. Uh, so therefore we, we should be fine. So iterator and then from this we can do map. Uh, map takes a closure. So we're gonna have our number here. And now whatever I return from here is gonna be the new item represented by that spot in the vector. So for example, the first item zero is gonna come into here. It's gonna be in the number, and then I'm gonna return something that that zero turns into in wrapped numbers. So in this case, I want to return a wrapped number with the value is gonna be a dereferenced number. Um, dereferencing it because this is a reference to an i32 and I want it to be a full i32. Uh, and then we're gonna have is even. Well, is even to calculate that, we're gonna use modulus. So we're gonna take our number, modulus two, and if that's zero, then, well, we're even, it's a Boolean. I'm not gonna put a semicolon in this because I this is returning from this block into map. So at the end of map here, we have this iterator. So it's something that implements iterator where the item is a wrapped number. Well, I want it to be the actual, like a vector of things. So we have to collect that. So we're gonna run the collect method, but this is gonna yell at us because collect doesn't actually know what type it is. Now Rust Analyzer seems to know a lot better. It's telling me, hey, you're a vec of i32, or actually that's not correct. Uh, you're, you need to be a vec of wrapped numbers. So let's go ahead and do the triple fish syntax. We're gonna tell you that you're a vector of wrapped number. And so there we go. I can now debug this out. 
uh, and we're gonna do wrapped numbers. Now, in order to debug properly, we do have to derive uh, debug here. But once we do that, we can run this and see here's our wrapped numbers. You know, all of them from zero through 99 uh, with if with is even. Uh, okay, false, true. Well, I seem to have gotten it backwards here. That doesn't seem to be right. Let's take a look at this. Uh, number, oh, that's and. Uh, I want modulus. Wrong, wrong command. Let's try it again. Here we go. Is even false, true, false, true, yeah, okay, so now now we're in a good state. So that's map. Now filter basically takes, uh, does the exact same thing here. And if we return a Boolean, it's going to tell us, it's going to like either remove it from the resulting vector or keep it in the resulting vector. And in many other languages, I've done this exact pattern where I've, I've um, mapped it and then filtered it. So let's do the same thing here. We're going to take filter and we're going to have a closure here. So we're going to have now just a, uh, a this is going to be a wrapped number now. And I need to return a Boolean here. If I return just true, I'm going to get everything. If I just return false for, for some reason, and uh, we try to take a look at a wrapped numbers at the end, we're gonna get an empty vector. There's nothing gonna be in there because everything was just false. So what I wanna do is let's only display even numbers. So I'm just gonna return wrapped number dot is even. And let's go ahead and run this test and we should see wrapped numbers uh, that are, yep, just the even ones. Now, this is great and all and extremely helpful but Rust offers a, uh, a function here, a method that combines map and filter together for us. Let's take a look at that. So off of iter, I'm gonna just comment these out. We can do filter map. So filter map, it is off of the iterator. So we still have to do the iterator. We still have to do the collect at the end, but now it's gonna be combined together. And the reason why this works is because Rust has that option type. So if I return a, an, a something, then we're going to keep it, but also it's going to transform it into whatever is inside of the sum. And if it's a none, it's just going to drop it. So we're going to take in the, the number and uh, we have to determine if this is, well, odd or even. So let's go ahead and like maybe store that into a um, a, a a variable here. So is even it's going to be equal to our number modulus two equal to zero. Okay, so that gives us this boolean here. Um, if is even, uh, so if this is true, then what we want to do is we're going to return a a wrapped number so but not just a wrapped number we have to put this inside of a sum because it is an option so a sum wrapped number and then inside of this we have our value n is even so our value is going to be the dereferenced number and we can just throw is even in. now if you're not this we're just going to return a none. So to recap for this, we have our number coming in here to this closure. Uh, we calculate this is even. Now I'm doing this separately here because I kind of need it, need it in both places. So instead of doing the calculation twice, I'm just doing it once. Um, and then if we're if we're even, then we're going to return this sum with the wrap number inside, and. Otherwise, we're going to return, well, none, nothing. And so if we save and run this, we get the same result. 
where we're only showing the even wrapped numbers. And the 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 um filter map is not something that's like revolutionary that's going to like change everything about programming for you. But if you're using filter and map together quite often, it can be really helpful and just like make things happen all at the same place. Uh, there's no reason we couldn't then just call another function that returns an option with what we want to have inside of it. Um, and that uh, that way we wouldn't have to have all this logic in here. Maybe it could be a different function somewhere else. But anyways, I'm hoping that filter map is helpful for you at some point in time and it maybe helps uh, detangle some code. Uh, at the very least, helps you wish that it existed in other languages. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.